In continuing the study of multiplying polynomials, we'll now focus on multiplying two binomials. Here's an example, x minus 5 times x plus 6. If we think about applying the distributive property, we would have to say that x minus 5 multiplies by x, and then we distribute the x minus 5 to the 6, right? So we're thinking about this x minus 5 as being our a in that distributive property, and x plus 6 is our b plus c. So we distribute it to the x and distribute it to the 6. But then notice we have another binomial times some single monomial. And so we would have to apply the distributive property again to get x times x minus x times 5 plus 6 times x minus 6 times 5. That gives us x squared minus 5x plus 6x minus 30. When we combine like terms, we get x squared plus 1x or plus x minus 30. Do you see what really happened here that in the final result, each term of the first binomial was distributed to each term of the second binomial. So let's look at it like that. If we say x times x and x times 6 to get x squared plus 6x, and then negative 5 times x and negative 5 times 6 would give us negative 5x minus 30. So combining like terms, we still get x squared plus x minus 30. So when we multiply two binomials, each term of the first binomial has to be multiplied by each term of the second binomial. We use a mnemonic to remember that, and that's called the FOIL method. You may have heard that before. That stands for first, outer, inner, and last. So the two first terms, the outer terms, the inner terms, and the last terms. Again, that only applies to two binomials that you're multiplying together, but again, what we're doing is distributing everything in the first times everything in the second. And you do that whether you realize it or not. If you multiply two two-digit numbers, like for instance, um, 43 times 12, you're actually applying this multiplying two binomials because you have to distribute the two, right? Two times three is six, two times 4 is 8, then you have to put a 0 to account for the 10, 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 4 is 4. So when we multiply two two-digit numbers, we're really doing the FOIL method or multiplying two binomials together. Another way I illustrated this in the textbook is you can use kind of what we call a window method. you put down each term, like x minus 5 and x plus 6, it doesn't really matter which order you write those in. Um, x times x is x squared, 6 times x is 6x, x times negative 5 is negative 5x, 6 times negative 5 is negative 30, and then we add those all up to get x squared plus x minus 30. Let's do one more example here. What if we had 4x plus 1 times 6x minus 5? So applying the FOIL method or distribution, we would have 4x times 6x, so that's 24x squared. Then 4x times a negative 5 would be a negative 
20x. 1 times 6x is just 6x. And 1 times the negative 5 is a negative 5. So combining like terms, we have 24x squared. Negative 20x plus 6x is negative 14x minus 5. This is probably one of the most important concepts that you'll learn in algebra is how to simplify the product of two binomials. So if you have any questions on that, don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you.